Just tell me when to shoot. Making sure that Atreus wasn't a pain in your ass was a big part of this game. Atreus needed to have some sort of ability or something he brought to the table that was different from Kratos. His ability to understand the language, right? In our world, the writing of the runes and the speaking of the runes are like the ignition for magic. Atreus' ability to understand this stuff allows him to have magical abilities that, that Kratos can't have. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. The simplicity of the controls was imperative. Should I fire? Wait for my mark. We did not want uh, to be giving commands or have complex orders or anything like that. He is able to autonomously divide the battlefield just a little bit, so he's able to take uh, attention, if you will, aggro in some games it's called, uh, away from enemies. So if you have a large pack of enemies, you know, firing the arrows will get their attention. We had him design like a suite of moves for him that he could do that could help melee with the bow and trip enemies and, and keep them at bay. You know, he's a little guy, so he can jump on an enemy and grab them from time to time. Now, we didn't want people micromanaging the sun. Again, we didn't want people to think of him as any kind of hindrance, anything that they really had to worry about. You can use him to your heart's content, whatever you would like to do, but if you don't do anything, he'll still do a lot of things. There are certain circumstances that there are enemies that say, I'm gonna target him. But if he gets into trouble, uh, he's able to get himself out of trouble most of the time. When you're in a fight with Atreus, it's like you, you definitely feel his presence. He feels like he's there with you every step of the way. We wanted to make sure that he always felt like somebody that was helping Kratos and benefiting you, and you'd never want to be without him. Pre-order and get three shield skins for in-game. Please stay strong.